there! This is Teacher Honey. Today, we're going to discuss about the safe and responsible use of Information and Communication Technology, or ICT. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to understand the safeness and responsible use of ICT. But before we go on to our lesson, take a look at this video. Hi Ken, can I get a copy of our class picture last Friday? Sure Sandra, wait a minute, I'll send you. I just received it, thanks. You're welcome Sandra. What you saw earlier is an example of file sharing. File sharing is the public or private sharing of computer data such as documents, songs, photos, and videos in a network with various levels of access privilege. There are rules or guidelines in distributing documents and media files. Number 1. Present the true identity of who you are to establish a good and lasting relationship online with friends, acquaintances, and even with strangers. Number 2. Show respect and politeness by using the right words in communicating or interacting with others online. Number 3. Never share personal information that is very private to you. Such information can be used in cyber crimes like identity theft, fraud, and hacking. Number 4. Be extra careful in communicating with strangers or those you do not know well, because not everything you read or see on the internet is true. Number 5. Be careful with the files you receive as it might contain viruses or cause trouble in your computer, phone, and tablet. Number 6. Read and reread carefully the information you want to send before sharing it online. Last but not the least, Always seek permission from the proper authority or owner of the files and documents. Now, we're done with the rules or guidelines in distributing documents and media files. Remember that it is very important to always be extra careful when sharing and receiving files online. This is to avoid getting viruses on your computer or to lessen the chances of fraud identity theft or threats. Now, let's discuss about the forums, discussion groups, and chats. Forums are online discussion areas that are usually in an organized thread layout where you can read and post messages from other users with the same or related interest. Most forums have moderators, sometimes called mod, they are also users who have authority and access to remove unwanted and unrelated posts, offensive and rude comments, or spam messages posted in the forum. In engaging in an online forum and chat, we should follow these guidelines. First, stay on topic. Every forum focuses on different specific topics or subjects. Remember to always stay on topic or related to the topic inside the forum. Number 2. Respect others' opinion. If you don't agree with the opinion of others in the forum or chat room, it is prudent to post politely what you think is right. And do remember that what's right for others may not be right for you. Number 3. Do not give out any personal information, such as full name, home address, phone number, family background, and other important information that may be used to imitate you. 
Number four, do not type a post in capital letter. Avoid typing in capital letters because you might annoy other forum users. Capital letters are viewed as shouting when communicating online, and it is considered rude to other people. Number five, before creating a new forum topic, you have to first check and see if there is already a discussion on that particular topic. Number six, it is better first to use the farm search option if you have a question regarding a specific topic when posting a question or inquiry on that particular topic, so that you can find out whether that particular question has not been asked before or question has already been answered by other users. Number seven, it is not enough to just log in and read the discussion thread of other users. If you think you have additional knowledge about the discussion in the forum, post it and share it with them. Number eight, be helpful. If you see a person in a forum or in a chat room that you think needs assistance, do not hesitate to give them and teach them how to do things right. Number 9. If you see that someone is violating the rules in the forum, take action and report it to the admin by selecting the admin alert button at the top right corner of the post. Number 10. Be clear, direct, and articulate with your comments, questions, or suggestions to avoid confusion and misunderstanding. Alright, we're done discussing all the guidelines and file sharing and joining online forums. Please remember all these guidelines as it will help you to avoid misunderstanding, confusion, and to lessen the chances of cybercrimes when you share your files or join an online forum. That would be all today. This is Teacher Honey, and I hope to see you in the next class. Thank you for watching!